Cabinet Preservation District. The George Eastman House has announced that it will close its Museum of Photography and ship its entire collection to Washington, D.C. to the Smithsonian. This is what we heard 25 years ago. The community was outraged. The Eastman House is such an integral, important part of Rochester. George Eastman was Rochester's greatest benefactor far and away. We must, as a community, do great homage to George Eastman. And in reaction, <coughs> the community got together, poured millions of dollars into the George Eastman estate for restoration of the house, construction of its uh, expanded using facility, the bulk of which was buried underground in order to minimize its impact. The restoration of the grounds was done after careful research into the original design and utilizing appropriate plantings, which were uh, the type originally used there, and actually the same scale. You may recall that one giant tree out front was moved to Connecticut in order to put a tree in its place more of the size of what George Eastman personally experienced. You may have seen today's announcement that the Finger Lakes Regional Economic Council has granted several hundred thousand dollars to the George Eastman House with respect to restoration of the facade of the house. And all of this is done with great high standards. The Eastman House is very much a colleague in preservation with this board. However, it appears we see a double standard with respect to the application here. We have a clubhouse, which was a significant 1927 building, uh, which we have, I have heard nothing as to the impact of this project, this great big building, on that house. Nobody's talking about what happens with some future owner, perhaps, of the house. What would be the impact of a four-story building overlooking this little house? We just hear nothing about it. We hear, uh, yes, there has been changes uh, proposed for fenestration. There will be changes for tearing down some of it, but not others. They say that um, the uh, extension towards the University Avenue was not historic, notwithstanding photographic and map evidence to the contrary. And uh, while we appreciate very much this board, giving enormous consideration to signage on another building, falling on another building. Uh, those are very small compared to the amount of change which would be done on the, uh, the, uh, the clubhouse. One final statement, and that is that the National Historic Landmark property includes every square inch of the George Eastman House property. And when you talk about the impact on it, it's not just the impact on the house, it's the impact standing next to the building. And intellectually, we hear these dimensions 51 feet, but can you visualize 51 feet? That may be the distance from one end of this room to the other. Flip that up 90 degrees. Thank you. That's what you're looking at. Thank you. It's an enormous facade, and unless you're then, you need to be able to <coughs> understand the impact standing next to that. And I think we do understand, in fairness to others, I think we'd like to move forward to a decision to make tonight. Thank, Thank you very much.